Hello guys, my name is Purnendu and today I am excited to showcase my latest Power BI project focus on the e-commerce domain. Before creating the dashboard, we need a title like what type of dashboard we are gonna create. Like we need to select a shape here. Okay, let's change the color from here. Let's take this color border color we need to black shadow it's looking cool okay it's done let's come to the shape okay height is around okay it's okay Let's come to the middle. It's looking good. Okay. Now insert and we need to insert the image like Amazon logo. Here we go. Let's make it. Okay. Okay, now it's a text box Amazon sales analysis. I use this font and make sure use one or two fonts one font for the uh, like title and one font for the subtitle don't use too much font so I will use one font here make it big is good okay i need to remove the background okay so you are done with the what is this okay now it's okay okay so we are done with that title and title section title and logo section okay now we'll create a bar chart stack bar chart so in the in the y-axis we need to take subcategory and let's take the total product count Total product amount. Okay. okay, let's just customize this from the visual section. Okay, first change the font. We select this font. Now it's okay. Make it bold and color is black. We need to see all the font, right? That's why you need to change the max width. Y axis. Same goes to Y axis. Change the when is the data levels. Bars color is make it black also. Eight and bold color also black. Let's come to come to the effect. I need to uh, change the background color like this. Okay. So select this and border also shadow. Can I make it same kind of rounded? 
uh, it twenty five. No, twenty five is too much. Fifteen, yeah, fifteen is okay. And let's come to black. Okay, now I just check the change the title section. Title section is change the title. Okay. Same title, bold, make it okay. When the background color and text color is this okay. Now it's looking good. I need to change this part also, this title also, like data labels titles. title we need to add a background layer in the data level section why i'll tell you later and just make it and transparency zero i we cannot see anything any changes but i'll show you later why you need this okay all the things is done Okay, now let's do one thing. Let's select a background. Okay. Okay, next we are creating a, another another bar chart. This bar chart is created the product amount by sub subcategory. Okay. So we need to create another one by the total revenue. Okay. So you just okay, you can select another bar chart like that and you just deploy all the axis command. So I don't do that. I just copy and just create another duplicate i just change the value from here subcategory and just add that total cells sorry total cells okay okay got that amount i need to change that amount to the thousand because we can see we can visually see any amount in this part okay so go to visual bar data levels values and this they need make it thousand okay now you see the difference here why you need the data levels background okay so two bar chart is ready okay we need one uh, one slicer for the category section i don't select from here okay de make it delete same copy paste and make it slicer and Cut the subcategory section and category. Okay. I change that category. I just change that like bar chart settings plus the slicer setting. And no, not this one. It will looking good. And I'm plot it here. First, I don't need slice header. I need title. And um, okay. Okay. I need to change also this color also, right? So background color this phone color black. Now it's okay. Okay, I'll show the select all button also. Okay, so slicer is ready. We need to change anything. I don't think so. Okay, I can select this also. It will looking nice. Yeah. Okay. 
so slicer is ready okay now you see copy and paste another section and i'll i'll change this to multi row card here i deploy two amount one is total sales and total sales with the discount change okay i'll change this to total revenue total sales without discount price which is uh, collected revenue by the amazon and total sales is without with discount so total revenue it's also good we need to change that category labels Here I can increase the value and make it black also. Okay, now we need to change that amount to the currency like Indian rupees, right? So we need to go to the general and make it currency. And here. Same goes to this currency okay it's now done okay next we create our column chart same just copy paste and select the column chart not sales total revenue which is total sales total sales and here I just placed all the category. Where is the category? Yeah. Okay, now we saw that spacing to in uh, decrease the spacing here. So spacing. Yes. Okay, now it's looking good. Now come to the next part. We copy paste and make it single card. And here I'll select product name let's product name and let's come to the filter i'll make here top profitable product here so select here and product name top one one total sales obviously okay we got our product and let's change some visual here values it's okay category level in the category level we need title so we'll select here title profit okay so just change the value okay let's create another card just copy and paste from here and i'll create 
या मल्टी रो मल्टी रो कार्ड वेर आई कैन शो द टॉप रेटेड प्रोडक्ट हियर सो सेम आई गो टू द फिल्टर सेक्शन एंड हियर एंड विद इन टोटल सेल वी नीड रेटिंग काउंट एंड एप्लाई फिल्टर हियर ओके नेक्स्ट इज सिलेक्ट रेटिंग काउंट हियर we got the rating count and now just change some visual you need to change okay first okay we need to change all the title here from here i forget to do that let's do that first okay now profit top product top rated top rated product list change some visually color is always black change the font make it bold same this also value is make it bold okay let's keep it here okay we created this one we done with this one okay now we just change the all the title like now we change that to the matrix where i select all the product id and also that product name and here i kept category what is the category okay category rating actual price before change the visual things i need to do two things okay one is let's make a another column and name is rating wise quality where i calculated if amazon rating what is rating okay amazon rating is greater than is equal to 3.9 then is good product if false then another if where amazon rating rises greater than is equal to 2.9 then it's average quality otherwise is low quality okay we got another column rating wise quality then we need to do one more thing i'll go to the quick measure and i'll select rating star rating where number of star 5 and here i select rating 5 we got a new measure here you can see and what the uses let's go to the this part and i clicked on this part and remove the sum operating 
and now I select this see this I can see all the rating by star it's look visually good so let's go to the visual section and just edit this okay let's change the title first make it category I'll select it as a selling price And this is a rating. Okay, it's looking good. Okay, we're done with the visual things. Let's create a conditional format here with the selling price. Okay, so here we go and conditional formatting data bars. And let's select the color. okay so we are done with this let's keep it something here okay so we create another slicer like this but i'll change that slider slices into tile and in the field section the rating wise quality okay okay we have done all these things let's come to the another page and we are gonna create a tool pick so canvas setting type to tool tip and make it middle let's make it custom 400 and it's 300 okay done and go to the view page fit to page we need this And also we need this. But to change the name to and I'll switch it off and save. Now it's looking good copy paste here we are not this one I'll copy paste this and same I don't need this now
ओके हमारा टूल टिप इज डन एंड मेक इट ऑन ओके मेक इट ऑन एंड लेट्स कम टू द पेज वन एंड आई सिलेक्ट दिस जनरल मेक इट ऑन एंड रिपोर्ट पेज टू ऑर्डर टू पेज टू ओके नाउ कैन सी ऑल द प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स लाइक दिस इज अ प्रोडक्ट आई डी आई कैन हवर हियर सो आई कैन सी ऑल द प्रोडक्ट डिटेल्स हियर ओके सो सो वी आर डन विद द डैशबोर्ड लेट्स चेक इट आउट फर्स्ट वी हैव स्लाइसर एट द टॉप कॉर्नर विच शोज ऑल द कैटेगरी इफ यू क्लिक टू कार एंड मोटर बाइक कैटेगरी द बॉटम वी कैन सी ए आर प्यूरीफायर एंड आयोनाइजर इज ओनली वन प्रोडक्ट विच सोल्ड इन द मार्केट नेक्स्ट इफ यू सी कंप्यूटर्स एंड एक्सेसरीज वेर वी कैन सी यू एस बी केबल्स आर मोस्ट रेवेन्यू एंड ऑल्सो प्लेस लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ ऑर्डर देन वी हैव टोटल रेवेन्यू एंड टोटल रेवेन्यू विदाउट डिस्काउंट इन द सर्टेन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम देन वी हैव another slicer where i categorize the product quality by the customer rating if the customer rating is above the above 3.9 then the product is good if the product is above 2.9 then it's average else it is low after that i place two card which show most profitable and most rated product in the market it will also change by the category then we have total revenue by category where we can see the electronics product Are earned most revenue by the category in the market. Then we have a matrix chart where we can see every product ID, category, and rating amount and the selling price. Then I use another page as a tool tip. So when you hover in the category section or any product ID, then you can see every individual product details, product ID, product name, and rating count everything you need. so that's it with the dashboard we found all the objective we want in the dashboard you can see so thank you for watching my power bi project showcase on the e-commerce dashboard i hope you found the insights and the analysis present in the project informative and helpful if you have any question or comments about this project so feel free to leave them then in the comment section below as always if you found this content useful please like and subscribe for more analysis project and tutorial uh using python using excel and also using power bi